And now it's time for Reading is Magic. Today our book is called Tadpole Rex by Kurt Cyrus. This is a story about reptiles. And another reptile would be a lizard. This one looks like a big lizard or a gecko. It's a puppet, actually. L-I-Z-A-R-D, lizard. Let's read about Tadpole Rex. Tadpole Rex by Kurt Cyrus. Deep in the goop of a long-ago swamp, a whopping big dinosaur went for a stomp. Stomp went the dinosaur, squish went the goop. Up came the bubbles, bloop, bloop, bloop. Swish went the horse tails, tattered and torn. Then water rushed in. and a puddle was born. One little pollywog swirled in the soup, bouncing off bubbles, bloop, bloop, bloop. Barely a dot, scarcely a speck, a head with a tail, no legs, no neck. A mouth and a belly, and that's about all. Tadpole Rex was remarkably small. Where is he? Oh, there he is, he's right there, right there by that bubble. Primeval puddles were desperate places of ambush and panic and life or death chases. Stuck in a footprint with nowhere to go, surrounded by giants, Rex lay low. Mud was his camouflage, mud was his friend, but Rex wouldn't wallow in the mud in the end. For somewhere inside him, deep in his core, there slumbered an inner Tyrannosaur, a Rex who was fearless, with fire in his blood. Here he is up here, he's so small. Splash! went a hunter. Rex hit the mud. He's getting a little bigger. But soon Rex grew, as tadpoles do. He doubled, he tripled, he grew by four. He ate like a hungry tyrannosaur. And then... Floop! Legs! Rubbery hoppers. Tiny at first, they grew into whoppers. Floop! Arms. Supple and bendable. Not very strong, but still dependable. Patience and time, that's all it took. Suddenly, Rex had a whole new look. Rex didn't hide in the goop anymore. Out came his inner, inner tyrannosaur. Inflating his throat and lifting his head, Rex gave a roar. Ribbit, he said. Whoops, there he is in the goopy, muddy, muddy puddle. Lumbering duckbills were taken aback to see an amphibium on the attack. Alamosauruses craned their necks to get a good look at tadpole Rex. And there he is down there. Bouncing about with the boldest of hops, Rex nearly tripped a triceratops. Stomp went the dinosaur, squish went the goop, ribbit, said Rex, bloop, bloop, bloop. Rex hunkered down with a gulp and a grin, his inner tyrannosaur, Corked within. Two blinking eyes, that's all he let show, watching the dinosaurs come and go. Gone are the dinosaurs. Gone are the stompers, the rippers, the roarers, the bone crunching chompers. 
Gone are the dinosaurs, swept away. But hoppers and croakers are here to stay. Tree frogs and bullfrogs and little spring peepers, sure-footed climbers and long-distance leapers, frogs of all fashions continue to huddle around any suitable freshwater puddle. And somewhere inside, deep in their core, they all have an inner tyrannosaur. So let's see what we have in our magic bag today. Can you guess? Of course. It's a frog, it's a frog. F-R-O-G, frog. See you next time.